Hello, uh, my name is Hayden, Hayden Bendel, and this is uh, part of the masterclass I'm giving for the Sound Edit Festival. Pomysł na zorganizowanie takiego prawdziwego masterclass miałem w głowie właściwie od samego początku festiwalu Sound Edit, ale tak się złożyło, że teraz dzięki współpracy z Music Export Poland to się w końcu wydarzyło w takiej formie, w jakiej chciałem, żeby się wydarzyło, czyli w jednym miejscu w studio znaleźli się młodzi artyści polscy, a z drugiej strony mieliśmy znakomitego producenta, w tym wypadku Brytyjczyka, Haydena Wendala, mojego przyjaciela, Człowieka, który był u nas wielokrotnie, otrzymał też nagrodę człowieka za złotym uchem. I always loved music and I, and I, and I, I played in a band in the sort of late 60s, early 70s. And I was going to go to university to um, study medicine. In the band I was in, we had a manager, and the manager was a man called Cliff Cooper. And he started off a company called Orange, that are now quite famous and have been quite famous for a long time. They make orange amplifiers, guitar amplifiers, and loudspeakers. But when we first knew Cliff, he, uh, he had a, basically a second hand guitar shop, second hand. And downstairs, he had a studio. And um, I needed some money before going to university. And so I asked if he could give me a job. And he said, well, you can work in the studio for, you know, for a few months and I'll, I'll pay you some money. Because I you know, wanted the money so I could go to university with some money. Uh, and um, I just fell in love with being in the studio. And I never enjoyed playing live. I never enjoyed po raz pierwszy w ogóle zetknęłam się z producentem, który tak spokojnie usiadł z tobą na początku i, i zapytał cię właśnie, ale tak naprawdę to, to o co chodzi? Co, o co, co, co tu jest w ogóle? Co, co ty mi tu przyniosłaś? No i o co tobie chodzi? No i mi powiedziałam, że, że tak naprawdę jest to utwór o, o tym, że wszystko jest energią i um, od ciebie zależy jak ją wykorzystasz. Tutaj jest w odniesieniu do relacji pomiędzy kobietą i mężczyzną, bo, bo ale to też jest forma metafory, jakby. We got lovely studio. We all here. We can we can do you know we can do something really thrilling and really unusual. And I know that's just the draft, but it, it and I'm not criticizing it. But the danger is that we can make it very two dimensional. And I, and I, mm -hmm. I think we should make it as, as dimensional as possible. Ja myślałam, że tak naprawdę już nic więcej się z tym nie w sensie nie da się zbudować tego do takiego katedralnego w tym momencie, spektakularnego, organicznego w ogóle yy, tworu. A się okazuje, że, że się da. If we can create an interesting enough sound, which I'm sure, I'm sure we can, yeah. of course we can, that sound could continue through. So it could be, could be the first thing we hear. Mm -hmm. It could be the last thing we hear, so it it's like encapsulates mm -hmm. the, the whole thing. Well, I think it's great atmosphere. The, 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 the great. I mean, I, I when I first heard the song, I thought, "Oh, what are we going to do?" Well, yeah, it, from from Kesha's uh, demo recording, it wasn't that obvious to me what the song should do. But I enjoyed talking to her about it, and she said, "Oh, the idea was this, 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 and this," and so we we were able to crystallize. Hmm. Crystallized the sort of atmosphere that needed to be created to portray the song that she wanted. At the end, at the end, the second part, rest. yeah, then yeah. the rest at yeah. the end. Yeah, I understand. So it builds the. Climax. I just want to leave the vocals on, like so. Yeah, so it builds. It starts very build simply, like from the... very simply and quietly. Yeah. So it could, the, the the beginning could be more tender, could be gentler. Yes, yes, that that, that was my. That's the uh, intention. Bardzo mnie cieszy w ogóle. To, że na przykład Michał, perkusista, miał okazję tutaj tak dużo... Um, każdy z nas tak naprawdę zmierzyć się, w, ja chyba w najmniejszym stopniu wydaje mi się, ale chłopaki na pewno w, ze sobą, ze swoim takim podważaniem siebie i zaufaniem do siebie i 
i zostawianiem pewnych rzeczy, bo mają smak, nie są perfekcyjne, ale mają tą niepowtarzaną energię. This pattern is good. It's... This pattern is good. It just sounded a bit fast. That it, it, it just needs to. It wasn't quite in time. That's all. Yeah, very, very nice, Mish. And uh, I found. You know, the guy working with the guys is very easy, they're very open to ideas, which can be quite difficult with, with, with you know, some songwriters, and there's nothing wrong with it at all. But some songwriters they say, No, this is the song, this is how I've done it, and they're extremely resistant to change. With Kasia and uh, Misha and Rob, they're great to work with, and lots of ideas. and uh, they embraced all the ideas wholeheartedly and uh, it, you know, it becomes a vibrant, lively sort of uh, communication between us. I just have one more percussion idea, do you mind? Do we just, yeah. just, just, just... I was working. Can you use this? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Let's try it. Is at least it's alive. You know, it sounds alive, and the song is called Energies, and it sounds as though it has energy. Now, I mean, yeah, we could have done it in fifty different ways, but this is the this is the way we did it. Yeah, this week. Huh? That one done? For for nothing at the beginning or the first? Not beginning. No. When uh, all band uh, start. And then over there is okay. a note. studyjnej, która często jest określona taką potrzebą bycia perfekcyjnym i to dotyczy każdego, który wchodzi i bo nic nie ukryjesz, to, yy, no to on jakby swoją osobą wprowadza spokój i czujesz się tak bezpiecznie, to zaufanie, o którym mówił. Tak się czujesz bezpiecznie, że nawet jak tam na początku jest, wiesz, shaking hands, to yy, tak yy, później nagle to wszystko odchodzi. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. This is me very excited. <laughs> For me, it's been an enjoyable experience and I, I've liked being in the studio as well. This the studio is nice. I've, I've never been here before. So yesterday was a, I was slightly nervous because it's a new studio, new artists, people I'd never met. I hadn't heard the song. I normally when one goes to the studio, you, you, you know the studio, or you visit the studio before the session, or you've met the artist a few times to talk about the production. But the point of this exercise was to show students and interested parties the sort of thing that happens on a session, the sort of discussions that need to take place, the way things can develop. So I was very um, uh, I. I I tried to make it satisfying for the artist and the musicians and satisfying for the various participants as well and not harm because magnetize multiply. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah? yeah. Let's check. <laughs> Let's have a bit of fun with this. Completely forget the American thing. Oh damn. <laughs> no, like, uh, yeah. Just be you. So it's you whispering to the dear friend. Okay. I'm under your spell. Waiting for me. Dla mnie 
producent jest chyba taką właśnie osobą, która sugeruje pewne rozwiązania, ale która zostawia Ci przestrzeń na Twoją decyzyjność właśnie. Tak jak na przykład wczoraj zagrał Hamonda i wychodząc, żeby powtórzyć jakiś take, spojrzał na mnie i tak... Wiesz, a ja... I'm not sure about this. Me either. <laughs> I tak... Wiesz, na zasadzie... Czasem nawet się zastanawiam, czy czasem czegoś nie robił, żeby po prostu zobaczyć, czy ja powiem coś konkretnego, że na przykład nie, w ogóle ta droga nie. No, ale producent to jest na pewno taka osoba, która... Um, która w pewnym sensie musi Cię ogarnąć, no bo my mamy... Twórcy mają tak naprawdę dużo hałasu w sobie. I producent chyba jest taką osobą, która... Um, Czytując się w Ciebie, pomaga Ci znaleźć ten kierunek, który jest jakimś takim balansem. No. I, I think every, uh, it would be wrong of me to say what I think is the most important thing, because everybody works differently. Uh, everybody has got a different attitude, and, uh, and there's exceptionally talented people that choose bits of equipment that I would never choose, or behave in a certain way that I would never. I'd never behaving and it's so individual it's so tremendously individual uh, uh, so there isn't a right way and there, I mean there are lots of wrong ways <laughs> but there isn't one particular right way and everybody just works I think I think if we were going to say what is the most important part of production I think maybe honesty Lovely. Thank you very much. Lovely. Doświadczenie starego wyjadacza, bardzo otwartego zresztą wyjadacza, który nie szczędzi swojej wiedzy i swoich trików przed publicznością, może się spotkać z młodzieńczą chęcią właśnie poznania tych wszystkich sztuczek. No ja mam nadzieję, że to się będzie w dalszych latach festiwalu Sound Edit działo znów. Mamy już pomysł na przyszłoroczny masterclass ale nie, nie będę o tym oczywiście teraz mówił. Cieszę się, że ten element edukacyjny się rozwija, bo to jest tak naprawdę clue festiwalu Sound Edit. Wszystkie gwiazdy, koncerty, te rzeczy, które się dzieją oczywiście są bardzo ważne, bo to one ściągają nam media i publiczność, ale nigdy nie zapomnę o tym, że najważniejszym elementem jest ten właśnie element edukacyjny. I, I think it is extremely important, the, these sort of things, because um, the, the When I first started working in studios, which as I said, it was 45, 46 years ago, there were lots of studios all over the world. Uh, everywhere had lots of studios because the only place people could make a record was in a recording studio. There weren't laptops at home in bedrooms or anything. Uh, now, the, you know, the, the, the studio scene has been decimated. You know, there's, there's lots and lots of studios, lots of great studios have closed. And even the great studios are sometimes threatened with closure. Yeah. Um, so for young people to get experience of talking to colleagues, meeting people, looking at different techniques. Okay, you can go on YouTube and look at look at various things. But I, uh, I think there's a lot. Well, we know there's a lot of information on YouTube, but not not that much of it is very useful. I don't think. But that's all that most people have access to. So something like this, from an educational point of view and from a networking point of view, I don't like using the word networking, but yeah, from an educational and meeting people and engaging in conversation with them, I think it's vitally important. And I think it keeps a lot of culture alive, which is, and it's easy now for that that culture to be stifled. So I think it's tremendously important.